anyways, okay, back to the job at hand, and that is how to keep your junk safe. And um, as with all things I do, I kind of went crazy. And so if you take a look at um, my Amazon orders as of late, it's been a little bit intense. I pretty much ordered every resettable bike cable that I could find. Um, Cause I've been using these word lock bike locks for a while. But I find that they're just a little bit too short. And so um, I can't show you my combination, but they're only four feet long. And so I find that sometimes it doesn't give me enough room to wrap around whatever I need to wrap around. And so, okay, what we do, every bag that leaves the house, has one of these cable lock locks on it. And also every bag that leaves the house on the zippers, I have these really cheap luggage locks that I put on the zippers. And you know what, disclaimer right now, none of this stuff is gonna stop somebody who really wants to steal your stuff. Cause even this kryptonite lock, um, if you watch YouTube, you can watch people literally take a battery powered grinder and chop through it and steal your stuff. So. You know, but this weighs like six pounds. And, um, you know, my son also complains about carrying this even to lock up his bike. So I was looking at different locks. And this one looks really strong, right? It looks pretty good. Um, and I recommend using resettable number locks so that you don't lose a key, all right? And so this one's pretty decent and you can set whatever combination you want. And uh, th the thing is, if you take a look at it, the weakest link in, in this thing isn't the chain itself, but it's the pin, the pin and look on YouTube and you can find people literally just use their hands and they can snap these <laughs> right here because these are so big, it gives them a lot of leverage, go bam, and then it just snaps right in half. Weird. So there's kind of a point of diminishing returns to get a bigger lock with a bigger resettable combo lock. And I was trying to find out where that point of return is. So look at this. Um, I've got links. Oh yeah, links and everything are here. It's at bit.ly forward slash DQ Periscope. And the one that I recommend is not the biggest one, okay? This is okay if you wanna lock your bike up and run into the convenience store for like five minutes and come back and hopefully your bike is still there. But I would probably recommend uh, a U-lock if you're gonna be going anywhere that you wanna leave your bike for a long time. But if you're just locking up your bag that has your computer or maybe some photo gear in it, then you probably don't want to carry this big bulky thing around. So I ordered a whole bunch of sizes. This is what they call the M8 from eTronic. This is the M7. This is the M6. And then this is the M4, all right? Now, don't get the M4 because what I didn't know was that it's not resettable. And so my combination lock is, what, can you read that? Three, four, two, four. So now I have to return it or else everybody knows my combination. All right, this one's gone. Lost. Ouch. Okay, now. We've got the M6 and the M7. And to, I was kind of disappointed because when I got the M7 in, it looked like exactly the same combo section as the M6. And I thought to myself, self, this makes no sense because my broken word lock one, I can show you right here, how it works to insert it is that the braided cable itself, not the plastic, has to go into the pin mechanism, right? So I thought, well, if these two are exactly the same, doesn't that mean that the actual metal cable is the same? And so I took it up to a light. And even though the diameter of the plastic cable is thicker on the M7, <gasps> lo and behold, internally, the metal cable is exactly the same. Cheesy! All right, M7, tossed. Ridiculous. All right, so the M6 is just as thick a cable as the M7, and the M7 just adds more plastic to the outer sheath. And so that's kind of useless and it just adds more weight. Okay, now, now I also got this kryptonite lock and this kryptonite 815 it's called, it says right on the package here, it's not for bikes. And it has that little tiny picture of a backpack here. So it tells you this is just for your luggage, don't try to lock up your bike. And I like several things about this. One, the inner diameter is actually a decent thick size cable. There's actually a lot less plastic than even the M6. So the inner core of the braided cable is thicker than the M6. And then two, the locking cable, the pin side here, it has a swivel here. And when you take it out, it's pretty cool looking. Um, this pin can get around more stuff, all right? There's two things, uh, and also it's all metal, so you can actually see the insertion point of where it attaches from the cable to the pin. 
All right. Now, there's several things that are also better about it. The center pin diameter is thicker than the M6. All right. Whoops, can you see that? Oops, sorry about that. Um, and it's actually the same thickness as this big honking dude uh, that is a little bit overkill, M8 for luggage lock, all right? So I like that the center pin is thicker so that it kind of warrants against the leverage um, breakage. Um, the, the couple minuses though, because it has a thinner plastic sheath, it makes it so that it's a little bit harder to pull apart. So you notice those coils are really taut, okay? If you look at the M6, because it's got the plastic, it's a lot easier to manhandle around objects, all right? And the second thing is um, it's five feet long versus a six feet long. I like the six foot long because the word locks are four feet long, and I find that a lot of times uh, they're just too short. And so I find myself trying to move my bags even closer to make sure that I can lock it into, onto something. When Especially I'm at a wedding shoot and I've got photo gear, and I'm trying to lock it to like a weird stand or a railing or something. So that's a little bit too short. Now this one also has one other negative, and that's the fact that the numbers on the combination are not engraved. They're just painted. Now the, the bonus is that the dots here, which instead of a zero, are you can do it by feel they're actually dots okay that means you already know you always will know where zero is but then the rest of the numbers are not engraved so that's not cool whereas these ones are all plastic but they are engraved all right and this is plastic over here i'm sure there's metal underneath it but um it won't scratch your stuff like this metal might okay that being said this is a little bit heavier because of the heavier gauge uh, cable as well as the metal ends but it's better made okay so ultimately my favorite one out of all this junk that I bought is the M6 all right it's got a good balance of the inner cable width to its flexibility and its length is six feet it's resettable so you don't have any keys to lose and I've also got links at bit.ly.dq uh, periscope on all this stuff and we also have a little luggage lock and those little luggage locks they're zippered we don't get the TSA approved ones because honestly, they're going to break them anyways. And you're just paying extra money for TSA stuff. Um, I can pick these little locks. It's not a big deal. But what you want to do is just keep the honest-ish people more honest, right? And if they say, oh, that guy's got a luggage lock, he'll, they'll go to greener pastures that are easier to pick bags that aren't locked, right? So this stuff isn't going to be foolproof by any means, but hopefully that helps you guys. And I um, leave these in the car too. So I always have one on each bag that goes out, but I also lock up in the car. In the Even if they're out of sight in the trunk, I'll lock up my stuff in the car because I'm a paranoid freak. Um, and I really don't, I have insurance for all my gear, including my laptops and stuff, but I'd rather not lose my stuff. That's just not cool. <laughs> and there's been a lot of reports of theft around. So hopefully this helps you guys out. That's it for today. I hope you guys have a great week. Happy Monday. God bless. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's coffee day.